So what happens if you screw one of these up? Oh, it's not good. It's not good. I mean, I've take my, taken my fair share of hits, I think. Um, and I remember I, I learned this dive and I was so relieved to see the water. I was like, oh my God, I did it. And I didn't, le didn't actively like work the rest of the dive. So I landed like quite short. And I just had like two black eyes under my chin, my arm, like, I mean, most likely, not most likely, most definitely had a concussion, but I feel like in the sport of diving, this happens so much that people have a concussion and like, I mean, I went up and did another dive before I went and iced my eyes and like, it, it was bad. My husband was like, we can't go anywhere. Can you please put sunglasses on? They're going to think I'm beating you up. So like when you make an entry into there, are you kind of like tightening the whole body? Oh yeah. Yeah. If you see a picture, every muscle is tight. It's crazy. Not to mention the beautiful face going in the water. <laughs> Pure grimace. Everything needs to be tight because you need to attack the water because if not, the water is going to attack you and just literally destroy you. So you're kind of trying to like actively hit the water. Yes. Yeah. And you can see the difference. Like sometimes, you know, you just kind of, the water hits you and it can really like cause you to move in ways that you don't want to move underwater. Like you need to be tight and attack the water. Is it enough of an impact that you kind of have to limit like how many dives you're doing a day or a week or? I try to do a maximum of three per training session. And that's actually a, a lot, I think. Most people don't even always go up to 20 meter um, every training session. Um, I just know for me, like I like to get the reps in and, and get very comfortable and confident with my dives. Um, but I think, I mean, I've done some, you know, sometimes you do up to six reps, uh, especially competition day, if you warm up and then you do your competition dives and stuff, but it really does take a toll on your body. Like the next day, your legs are gonna be sore. Um, we'll make it a point to take an ice bath right afterwards, just because even if you have a good entry, your legs take such an impact that your calves can get really sore. Um, if you land like a little bit short or a little bit over your neck muscles, like you got to make sure your neck muscles are, it's like a whiplash if you land wrong. <laughs> so actually my neck's quite tight as we speak. <laughs> I really thought you were going to say like 20 or 25. Oh no. If you go back into the pool like three more times that week. So that's like maybe 10 a week. I think 10 a week should probably be your max. 